Welcome back to the Crypto Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, the price of Bitcoin is forming a new pattern that almost no one is paying attention to. So in just a moment, I'll be talking about that alongside the price targets for this pattern, so definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the 12 hour Bitcoin chart, and right now, as of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is still trading below this golden pocket level of resistance, which is coming into play in between 20.3K and 20.5K on the linear scale. And so, like I've been saying over the past few days, I do expect a lot of resistance around this level as we have been playing out over the past few days. And so, really, 20.5K is the level that Bitcoin needs to break above in order to potentially start flipping more bullish again but while the price of bitcoin has not yet confirmed a break above 20.5k then technically speaking we are not in the clear yet meaning that obviously we're still in this bearish trend and we have not confirmed any sort of bullish reversal as of right now at least and another reason why it is important for the price of bitcoin to break above 20.5k is due to this falling wedge pattern on the eight hour bitcoin chart with the resistance coming into play at around 20.3k so basically if we break above 20.5k that level of resistance right here then obviously that would mean a breakout for this falling wedge pattern and in that case if we see a bullish breakout above this resistance then the first technical price target for this falling wedge pattern would be coming into play at around 22 and a half thousand approximately and obviously this price target falls just short of this golden pocket level of resistance when you draw the fibonacci retracement tool from this swing high at around 25k down to this swing low at around 19 and a half thousand so we do have some confluence there on the chart around twenty two and a half thousand up towards around twenty three thousand where this golden pocket is coming into play but between now and then we also have this thirty eight point two percent Fibonacci level of resistance sitting at around twenty one and a half thousand where we do have some previous resistance coming into play as well but I want to make it clear that these upside price targets only come into play once the price of Bitcoin confirms a break above twenty point five K because obviously while the price of Bitcoin is still below this short-term resistance, then these upside price targets are not currently active. But something that could help the price of Bitcoin in a breakout to the upside, aside from this bullish divergence in the eight-hour Bitcoin RSI, is this diamond bottom pattern forming on the four-hour Bitcoin chart right now. Because statistically speaking, a diamond bottom pattern that forms after bearish price action breaks out to the upside around eight times out of 10 and acts as a continuation pattern for the bearish trend around around two times out of 10. So based on statistics, it is simply more likely to break out to the upside than to the downside. But of course, it's not impossible to break to the downside. It's just less likely to break to the downside. And obviously, if you're a short-term trader, it doesn't really matter whether or not this pattern breaks to the upside or to the downside because we can make money either way. All we need to know is the support and resistance levels and the price targets for either direction. And so it's starting off with the support and resistance. Right now, this support line is coming to play at around 9 19.9k and this resistance line is coming into play at around 20.3k and if we see a confirmed break above resistance then the technical price target would be coming into play at around 21.3k so that would be a thousand dollar move in the price of bitcoin to the upside if we break this resistance first but if we break below the support level that i just mentioned then the technical price target would be coming into play at around 19,000. and obviously if you have watched any of my recent videos you would know that there should be a lot of support around 19,000 approximately based on these previous support levels. And not only that, but the full technical price target for this previous rising wedge pattern that I covered weeks ago is also coming into play at around 19.2k approximately, where we do have a Fibonacci level of support. So once again, if we break below around 19.9k with confirmation, then I'll expect the price of Bitcoin to potentially drop down towards 19,000, where we do have a lot of support for the the price of Bitcoin based on these lows and that Fibonacci level once again. And anything lower than that, and I'll be looking towards this price target for this previous bear flag pattern, which is technically still valid. This hasn't actually been invalidated as of right now. And that full technical price target for this pattern is coming into play at around 18,000. But it is important to keep in mind that between that price target and right now, there's obviously other levels of support that could prevent the price even reaching that price target. And just quickly going back to this diamond bottom pattern, 
that is forming right now on the four hour Bitcoin charts. If we do see a breakout to the upside above resistance, which is statistically the more likely scenario based on this pattern, then not only would that give us that technical price target at around 21.3K, but obviously a breakout from this pattern would mean a breakout from this falling wedge pattern, giving us an even larger price target to the upside. And at that point, that would obviously be a trend reversal going from this shorter term bearish trend into potentially another shorter term bullish trend if we confirm a breakout here, which is why the outcome from this diamond bottom pattern actually has the potential to change this trend from a bearish trend into a bullish trend if we confirm a break above resistance. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, and honestly, not much has happened for Ethereum over the past day, so I'll keep this quick. Obviously, we still have this falling wedge pattern forming on the eight hour Bitcoin chart. And as of right now, we have not seen a confirmed breakout, at least just yet, with this line of resistance sitting at around 1570 approximately. And obviously, not only do we need to see the price actually cross above that resistance, we also need to see a significant candle close because otherwise, we just simply form a candle wick like this, for example, and that is not a clean breakout. And as for a candle close, an eight hour or a 12 hour candle close would be great to see, but ideally a daily candle close above 1570 approximately is really what we would need to see in order to have some stronger confirmation in a breakout to the upside, which can give us more confidence in that move to the upside if we confirm that breakout. And in that case, if we do see a confirmed breakout above this line of resistance for the falling wedge pattern, then the first technical price target that I'll be watching is coming into play at around 1880 to 1890, so just below 1900. But between the breakout and that technical price target, there would be other levels of resistance, such as this 38.2% Fibonacci level, which is sitting at around 1630. And above that, we have this previous high in the price of Ethereum showing resistance, and also that is coming to play at the 50% retracement level, which is sitting at around 1700, which we could find resistance at. And above that level, we of course have the golden pocket level of resistance, which is sitting at around 1780, give or take. So those are all of the main price levels and price targets that I'm watching for Ethereum if we first see a breakout above this initial line of resistance, of course. And just like Bitcoin on the eight hour chart, we also have a bullish divergence here in the eight hour Ethereum RSI, which technically means we're due to see reduced bearish momentum. So essentially the sellers, the bears are running out of steam. And for more information, check out my last one to two videos here on this channel, because in those videos, I went into a little bit more detail about Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of these charts. And also, if you want to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going up, down, or just going sideways, then check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money if the price is going either up or down, and the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money if the price is just chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.